story about when the movie came out, where did he say he watched it? At home. He wasn't even at the premiere. You telling this man, you stole that. Oh, so he could get his name in the same sentence with a great one. It is sad. He was just that bitter when we were shooting it. He told everybody, it should have been my role. Everybody on the scene. Why do you think no cast member has ever said anything? He couldn't have played that role like you. I thought he, he Sir, was- Sir, no one, why no? He was with KD? He beat up Terry Crews? Why nobody know this story? You talking about in Hollywood, they switched off roles. You take this and he, what? So Ricky, Ricky Smiley knows this, and I don't know why he would lose a child and come on the air and start lying. That's why people believe in rituals right there is because, well, why would he lie? I don't know why liars lie, but I can tell you this. We auditioned in Los Angeles. He told you the story. You were originally supposed to play Cat Williams' character. Yes. And Cat Williams was supposed to play mm -hmm. my character. And somebody said, no, we want you to play Mike. The uh, Beaver. Santa Claus. <laughs> right, and then, yeah, because Cat Williams was going to be the Santa Claus. Right. And then, uh, and they switched it over. Right. Because I, when I auditioned, I auditioned for Mighty Mike. Right. You know, so when I went in there to audition, I'm at the toilet. Uh, when, when Cat Williams went, right. went to use the bathroom, right. that was, that was, that's the line I had to use to audition. So they switched it up. So I'm like, yeah, I can do this Santa Claus role uh, Friday, uh, you know, and, but I didn't know that because I did my role like in four days. Right. They shot all my stuff in four days. I went back to Birmingham, came back out because they changed the ending. Did you right. know that? Right. No, I didn't. No, you know the ending, but they got to fighting or right. whatever. The ending was me giving out, Santa Claus giving out presents to his kids. Right. So the, the test audience didn't like the way it ended. So right. they, you were originally supposed to play Cap. What is your relationship with Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer as you sit here currently? They. For 30 years, they're a group. These aren't three random guys. The way that Ricky Smiley kept appearing at all of my auditions is because of Steven said he would tell anybody that, listen, they got a gang on that side. They know what it is. They know who the gang is. Why Earthquake not in movies? Because he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. Like all of these dudes are co-entwined and they share secrets. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Uh, cats on drugs. Where are the stories? Why is there no story of anybody who ever sold a drug to me, did a drug with me, was around me when I was inebriated? I got five dogs. I've taken 46 comedians with me on the road. 46. Okay. I'm not the comedian you can give that to. I only put on comedians that are funnier than me. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar. There's nobody yeah, you, like you, me in the business. Faison just called a straight. Faison said that. Getting a Netflix special is easy. I have 12 specials. Guess how many Faison got? Zero. I've taken 40.